Hi, it's Katie again from Katie's Craft Store. Another journal for you, flip through. Um, one of my favourite types, the witchy style that I do. And I've done so many of these, but I just love making them. And um, I'm really, really happy with how this one turned out. Um, it's slightly different to my others, but same kind of uh, theme, obviously. So anyway, I'm not going to waffle, I'm just going to um, show you this, this journal. Uh, it will be listed in my Etsy uh, in a little while. Um, please subscribe, hit that subscribe below and click that little bell icon uh, so that you know when my next um, videos are published. Um, there are quite a few there already for you to have a look at and also the link to my Etsy shop. Um, give me a thumbs up as well if you like it and um, anyway let's get on with this and I'll show it to you um, I've kept the cover fairly plain actually on the back I'm just going to show you that to start with um, it has been covered in a, a like a silver foil paper and then in this beautiful almost um, velour flock uh, fabric that's over the top and trimmed with this beautiful silver lace and some uh, silver ribbon, some black lace and just held together with this lovely sparkly, I don't know if the camera's picking this up particularly but this lovely sparkly lacy ribbon just holding it together um, front cover this stunning witch and I love that and uh, maybe this one I've done a little bit more gothic than my my usual style but I just love that picture so the, the content and the way I've approached this particular project has really been loosely based on, on this lovely witch on the front um, some uh, script here and uh, uh, a witch's skull here with uh, her crow um, trimmed here with some of this lovely black pom-pom trim and then these beautiful mirrors here down the spine and uh, again some more of this beautiful kind of gothic looking lace here uh, trimming the side and then there's a, a lock and key here for uh, uh, just for effect really um, inside First page, I'm just in a, a fabric pocket here with um, some journaling cards inside and this lovely wallet that I've uh, distressed, the witching hour, feel the magic in the air and there's another journaling card inside and there's a little wooden tag which I've printed with a script and uh, a little bird cage that I've inked up in there. Here I've done um, a collection of things really. There's mainly journaling cards all based on this little belly band on the, on the script here. And what you send out comes back to you. And some extra journaling paper here on a little flip up, a little card and a little spell. And they all live in there. All the pages I've tabbed pretty much with either um, some ribbon or this lovely silver script that I've printed out. So it just makes it a little bit easy for them to turn as well. Um, little corner pocket here with another witchy tag which I've also tabbed so you can pull it out a little bit easier. And I've also put a lot of these lovely Tibetan silver charms throughout this. In fact I'm just going to stand this up. I usually do this at the beginning um, just to show you the sides. If you were to stand this up on your desk or I don't know, say on a shelf or on, on your table this is what you see from the side and it has all these beautiful beads and charms, a little bat there um, that are dangling from um, either the tabs or from these little bulldog clips. I mean, you will see those as we go through, but I just wanted to show you this from the side first. Little broom there 
witch flying on her broom um, and also a, a handmade with love tag here um, because I always do so getting back to the book this one I've actually mod podge to give it a um, a bit of a texture and also a bit of a shine, I don't know the camera picking up particularly but I just love that picture um, and enhanced here with some um, uh, a, a black embroidered uh, flower some more German cards through here and uh, one of these little flip up pockets my favourite, or one of my favourite pictures absolutely love this witch, she's appeared in a, a couple of my journals that I've done Again, some more of this uh, beautiful oh, crochet uh, flowers here. And in this particular pocket, you just pull it out, so there's a lace uh, ribbon on the top. Then, like a, a frame here with a, a journey card, and I'll see if I love that. And that just lives in there. Another corner pocket here. And I've also, with this, having a bit of a, a gothic thing, this particular journal. I've also um, had a look at like some uh, at more gothic witchy kind of courses and this particular uh, journaling card here again I've mod podge so it looks a little bit like it, it's been painted um, and it kind of goes with the witch's hat and I, I, I like that thought process, I like that way I was headed with this a uh, little silver broom on there uh, an envelope that I've made here, I'm not going to open it up, it has got a little journaling card inside and uh, sealed with this uh, black seam binding and book of spells on it and that's supposed to be on that little tuck there uh, so one or two of these uh, are bulldog clips here with um, beads and charms this one I've done as a frame here, another little uh, tag that's been uh, pushed into the side um, here's some uh, spell papers and journaling papers for you to put your thoughts or memories. Here I've done this as a, as a, as a floating pocket actually. i uh, just trimmed it with some lace and a, and, a, and a moon here at the bottom. But it actually has um, just some extra paper in for you, all held with some of that black seam binding. But there's lots of extra paper there for you for your notes and or to attach. Um, pictures etc. Another little journaling card here and uh, another envelope that I've stamped with a, a, another little card inside. And here we have a pentacle. Some of this pom pom trim here and I've just trimmed this beautiful picture with some lace here. I thought that was just uh, adorable but I love that picture. Absolutely love it. And uh, be witchy some uses for witch hazel here and uh, a little bit more they say a little bit more gothic this one and that page absolutely inspired me I thought it was fascinating I sat looking at it for ages and how to include it then I just put some of this eyelash trim here at the bottom I love this stuff I absolutely love it which going home with her cats And this beautiful old witch here and a, a, a black um, fabric rose here at the bottom. Here I made a fabric pocket and really all I've done is just put some, um, look at this beautiful one, absolutely gorgeous. And I've just put some um, extra journaling paper inside and there's some music script you can write on the back of. Another page trimmed with some pretty lace. More German cards here. Um, another one pushed into that pocket there. It's just a little tuck spot here too. And this one flips up. You can write underneath. Included actually with this um, journal is a black and a white gel pen. Um, the white one obviously to write on the, the black pages and the black one for you to write on the lighter pages. So those are included with this. I just put them with my witchy journals. And then 
give you this um, candle colours, another journaling card for you. And this has this lovely bead with a little witch's hat. Again, another lovely journaling card and some more ephemera. Little belly band I put in here, you can tuck some of your own um, images in there. This one again clips up, you can write underneath with the, the one it pen. And this one again I've done it as a, um, a picture frame um, inside a beautiful journaling card of the witch's dance. And that just lives in there. And a stunning picture. And this one's been trimmed with some more black lace and a and a lace tab. Witching eye and the witch's brew. And the witch's shoe, which goes with the, the hat and the corset that was earlier. And again, a little pentagram. And there's lots of um, little things that I've found that I've included for ephemera that you can write on the back of as well as uh, use. This one says Dream Journal, and you can put all kinds of information on there. It's a little weekly planner here with a pentacle in the middle and uh, new moon intentions. So there's lots of interesting things and things to write on. Even here, a witch's shopping list. How fabulous is that? <laughs> a stewed bat. Yum. <laughs> and this one actually has a little tiny silver cordon on it. And I love that. It's so cute. Another little journaling card for you here. And here I've done another envelope which I've um, decorated as you can see with some more of this, um, these black flowers some fringing and just tie together with some black seam binding ribbon. Again, I'm not going to open it. Little journaling card inside and here also some more uh, witchy stationery. And that just lives in there. Some more gothic -y images. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Love it. Again, another one of these little bead charms here with a, a witch flying on a broom. A stunning witch's house there with some uh, ledger paper underneath. And this one I've done, uh, it says spells on it, and it actually pours out, so you've got lots of room there, and also a little pocket behind with a couple more little journaling tags inside there. And trim with this little lace which matches the, the pull out. And of course, the witch's crow. Let's have a crow around here. This one I've done is this little side pocket with a, a, a more of an old fashioned uh, witch there with her cat. Some more writing area for you. Again, here's some more ephemera and uh, areas for you to write on. This one again done is a little side pocket with a little journaling card inside with a uh, Lavender water, and then this. Um, I thought we'd have an experiment with this. Is a, a, a pocket that I've done. There is actually a little, just a little tag behind there, um, trimmed with some lace, and that lives behind there. And um, I could just imagine, um, you know, this stunning witch with her with her corset and all her lace and black lace and fringing and ribbons and things, and her spectacular hat and it was uh, it's just a, a different idea I had this time and I, and I loved how it came out. little flip up here, some more journaling cards in here and this a little tote spot that flips up you can write under here. Again some more journaling cards and uh, obviously I had to do some with my my signature little sparkles, twinkles on there, my silver and glitter paints and uh, another lovely journaling card there. I'll just tuck in there. This one again. Just fix it up. You can write under there. 
Uh, this one I've done as a, as a, a, a side pocket. And there's a, a lovely German card in there for you. This one I've done with uh, a little witchy spell bottle here. With, uh, some twinkles inside. And hanging on that to counterbalance really a little pentacle. And that just hangs on that. A couple of little witches' houses here that just done as little flips where you can write some secret messages or a little thought underneath. Again, this one flips up. Merry meet and merry part. Another journey tag, and this one says my spell work. Um, again, you can write on the back, right under here. And these little black uh, wooden pens as well, which are a recent find. I absolutely love those and they were perfect for this. There's the other side of the um, ledger paper and another stunning picture of a witch. A little pocket here at the bottom um, that I've done. There's a, a card in the side and then the little pocket here houses the uh, little journaling cards and then there's a larger journaling card here. And I thought she was absolutely fabulous. Love her. Another stunning witch's house. Some more of this, um, whoops, some more of this pom pom trim here at the bottom. Oh, and I forgot to mention these two. There's uh, hanging at the bottom. There's a little uh, witch's broom and a witch's hat, and they just hang from the bottom. Here, another pocket that I've done with a um, a witch with her the tarot cards. And the writing areas. A belly band here with a little journaling card in there. Like cats and witches' hats. This little pocket here, I've done uh, another one of these little witchy corsets, and I've just done it as a as a card trimmed with some lace, and um, because it well used a, a, a stamp. Um, to do the edges and distress it. Put that just lives in there. But you could use it, you could send it to somebody. Uh, again, a lot more ephemera here, just tucked into this little lace pocket, and a spell work and a witch's tip, and I've even uh, put in a, 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 a witch's eye chart in there. There's so much to look at and uh, to write on and to use in this um, book. It really is worth looking through it a couple of times first because even I'm seeing things I've forgotten that I've put in it. So, um, yeah, just lots to see and lots to look at, lots to write on, lots of things you can use. Um, how to write a, a spell ritual there. There's another lovely Jenin card. Some tags here with uh, some script, uh, all tucked into this lovely pocket. And here again, I've done a, another corset. And I got the inspiration for this one actually from this picture, and I thought that was absolutely beautiful. Um, very gothic y, still very witchy feeling, and uh, that's where the inspiration for this one came from. This one I've actually done as a little booklet, so I'm not going to um, take it out, but inside I've put some. Uh, ledger paper in and some different papers just just to make an interesting little booklet not every witch lives in Salem and then this little uh, tote spot here little flip up and put a little secret message or something and this stunning card which uh, I've trimmed with some of this lovely black seam binding ribbon you could attach that to a gift And uh, some of these lovely beads attached to another little silver bulldog clip. This one has a little silver bat on it. This one flips up, you can write into there. And then here I've done a, um, a little fold out so that you can write inside there. And that just all folds up with that stunning witch on the front. Beautiful pictures. This is a little um, 
uptuck and that falls down and you from right under here. Uh, another envelope here with a, a, a pocket for you to keep some extra papers or little journaling cards. And another frame here with this fabulous cat on a, on a journaling card and that just, that just lives in there. And then coming up to the back now, another one of these little fold down to the spots, a journaling card, of course, which has to have a black cat and her broom. And her hat. And finally, the last page, uh, I did this um, uh, little corner pocket. And I put this book of shadows belongs to so you can put your name. I know you see these sometimes at the beginning of the book, but I wanted to put that at the back. And then I made this little booklet with uh, trimmed in lace and uh, there's just lots of uh, extra journaling paper inside, very vintage looking, uh, with Merry Meat written on the front and uh, the pentacle. And that just lives in that little pocket there. And I hope you've enjoyed that flip through. Um, and so I left the back plain and you've got, it's quite heavy, quite chunky as you can see. And you've got that lovely view from the side if you did want to display it or stand it down somewhere. Little bottles and charms. So I hope you did enjoy that. And um, until the next one, thank you so much. Remember to subscribe and see you next time. Thank you.